yeah, for, for practice this morning, what I wanted to offer and kind of put out there for contemplating while we move across the yoga mat is um, the awareness of making assumptions and how that can block us off from an experience. Uh, I think it is natural for our minds to make assumptions, right? It's part of what keeps us safe, right? The mind is predicting outcomes based on past experiences. Um, but <laughs> no experience is ever the same. And if we block ourselves off from being open to experience something in a new way or something new altogether, um, because of one time or one experience or one conversation or relationship, um, one event, one circumstance, uh, we miss out on a lot, right? There's so much that might um, pass us by. And I think that's where the practice of discernment comes into play. And I feel like so often when I'm speaking to like intentions with yoga, um, it boils down to discernment, right? And discernment goes hand in hand with trusting ourselves and trusting um, our highest self, our intuition, our inner wisdom, while practicing discernment, while staying open, right? There's this balance at play where all of these components um, do some give and take so that we can move through the world. We can be open to experiencing something new that might offer us a really valuable um, lesson, right? while also trusting ourselves to know, yes, this is for me today and no, this is not, right? And so I think it goes with exploration, it goes with being curious, it goes with being kind to ourselves, right? When we're moving across the yoga mat, moving through our postures and transitions, um, there is the setting aside of assumptions of I'm not capable of this, I never will be, da da da, my body doesn't like this type of opening or this shape. I'm setting that aside because our bodies, um, like all of life, are in constant flux and flow. While at the same time, trusting ourselves and practicing discernment, trusting that my body will let me know if this is for me or if it's not, and um, exploring the edges, right? Allowing ourselves to try something new and then change our minds to explore some different form of engagement in a shape or a different approach to the opening. And then to either hold on to that in the moment or to continue that exploration. So um, I think it's so often that like as humans, we're really focused on this, like this is the answer. This is the message. This is the key to feeling okay. When really it's like this constant flux flow and balance of a variety of tools um, and a variety of truths. <laughs> so um, just setting aside assumptions for today open for experiencing the shapes maybe in a new way with a new perspective um and then trusting yourself yeah and then for our practice um let's start in seated meditation just since maybe some of us just woke up so staying in this upward trajectory of energy so making sure that your seat feels comfortable to you and of course, if you want to start on your back body or in some other position, feel free to start wherever feels most true for you in this moment. And then give yourself a couple of breaths just to settle in, and to adjust and to arrive. Starting with a body scan, maybe beginning at the base of your spine, the bowl of your pelvis. Finding that tilt forwards and backwards in search of your sweet spot. And see so if you your sweet spot promotes more lift and length through your spine. Feel an upward energy through your heart and the continuation of that through your crown. Maybe take a shoulder shrug opening across your chest. As you relax through your jaw the muscles around your eyes and across your forehead. Invitation to open your palms up to the sky. So the backs of your hands and be resting in your lap. 
palms open to receive. And setting aside assumptions and expectations about ourselves and our practice. It's being open to what this moment and these 60 minutes would like to share with us, would like to offer us. Into the symbol of receptivity, palm to the sky. Let's bring your attention to your palms and just notice the energy there. Starting to tune in to the most subtle of sensations to help focus our attention to the present. As you continue to feel the energy at your palms, begin to deepen your breath. It's gradually drawing in more air with each inhale. Finding that pause at the top of your breath before you slowly and steadily release the exhale. Patiently allowing the breath to empty all the way. As you find that pause at the bottom of your breath, that pause at empty, just feeling the sensation within your body. Before you slowly start to expand your inhale again. On your exhale to steady and to lengthen. Releasing away clutter from your mind and tension from your body with each breath out. Just taking a few more cycles of breath as you expand your inhale. See if you can reach your breath consciously to the back of your body and to your side bodies. Some more 360 degree breath. Maybe your breath even begins to create a stretch from the inside out. And every time you empty your breath, and as you release, you notice another area of your body that maybe was holding tension you weren't aware of. And even just in the movement of our breath, just in this expansion of each inhale, and the lengthening of each exhale, we start to feel that interplay. Right? The balance between taking a full inhale And feeling right, the exhale in response. And how the two work together to create balance in the body, heart, and mind. And maybe keeping your palms face open to the sky, or maybe you bring your hands to stack at your heart. If it resonates for you this morning to make that gentle commitment of setting aside assumptions, being open to whatever the experience has to offer, open to any lessons that are to be learned, any wisdom that is to be received. As you practice discernment and trust while moving across your mat. And holding that at your heart, go ahead and take a really deep breath in through your nose. Just one time, open mouth, exhale, release. Give yourself a moment. I'm doing your best not to rush. Just when you're ready, start to release your hands and then slowly open your eyes. I'm gonna move back to my mat, but we're gonna stay in a cross-legged seat to start. But maybe switch your shins if you'd like. So bring you the opposite shin in front if you're in a cross-legged seat or finding your way there if you're in a different shape. Then as you find your cross-legged seat, to get inhale, circle, sweep your hands to the sky. In your exhale, goddess, your arms, elbows go wide. 
a big breath in, reach your hands to the ceiling. On your breath out, side bend over to your left. Let your left hand come to the earth, reach your right hand up and over. Maintaining the side bend as you inhale, rotate your sternum slightly to the sky. Roll your right shoulder back in space. As you exhale, right, exploring the opposite, rotate your sternum down towards the earth. Let your shoulder blades spread wide across the back of your body. A little bit like a cat spine. As you breathe in, keeping the side bend slightly, reach your right hand up to the ceiling. And then on your breath out, you're going to spread your right hand underneath your left ribs, reaching towards the wall behind you and twisting. Next breath in, re extends your right hand to the sky. And as you exhale, you're going to start to sit up, circle sweep your right arm underneath your left. So big circle sweep, finding eagle arms, cross at your elbows, maybe your wrists. You always have the option just to bring your forearms together as well. Draw your shoulders out of your ears, find a little bit of a lift to your elbows, and then slide your hands away from your face. As you squeeze through your forearms, start to inhale, lift your elbows, lift your sternum to the sky, really reach your elbows forward and away from your chest. And then exhale to round through your spine, opening through your upper back, let your head hang heavy. With your next inhale, re-extend your eagle arms to the ceiling. We'll exhale through goddess arms, elbows, expand open. As you inhale to stretch your hands to the sky, option to keep your shins in the same cross that they are or to switch the cross. We're going to side bend over to our right this time. So right hand releases to the earth. Use your right hand to anchor your left sitting bone to the ground. So the right hand is going to push down and away. Once you have that anchor through your left hip, reach to your left fingertips. Big breath in. And out. Now you start to explore that rotation of your sternum towards the sky. Left shoulder leans way back in space as you turn your heart open. And as you rotate your sternum towards the earth, press down through your right hand so you're running that big puff through your upper back. Think back of your heart to the sky. Next inhale, left hand's gonna reach straight up to the ceiling. And exit a thread your left arm underneath your right ribs. Keep that puff through your upper back. Think about a cat spine. All right. On our inhale, we're gonna reach the left hand high again, and then we're gonna find that big circle sweep. So with exhale, circle sweep your left arm underneath your right into your eagle arms. And finding that lift to your elbows, hands away from face, squeeze your forearms together. Inhale to scoop your elbows up to the sky. Again, try to create distance between your sternum and your elbows. As you exhale into your cat spine, just round through your mid to upper back. Relax your head, let it hang, pausing at the bottom, take a breath. Your next inhalation, lift up through your eagle arms, and exhalation takes us through goddess. This time releasing your hands beside you. Unwind your legs, bringing your knees into just a 90 degree bend, feet planted to the earth. Place your hands beneath your shoulders, fingertips to be facing your seat. And then find this gentle heart opener. Press through your hands, lift your heart up towards the sky. And think about using your shoulder blades to continue to boost your heart towards the ceiling as you bend your elbows slightly and stretch your elbows in the opposite direction. So imagine you're trying to like inflate a balloon as big as you can between your shoulder blades and your elbows. So you're creating as much distance as you can. One more inhale, maybe lift your chin towards the sky if that feels good through the front of your body. Your exhale, slowly start to push your way out of that and we'll meet in a tabletop pose. And your tabletop shoulders will stack above your wrists. Your hips will stack above your knees. And creating space between every finger, nice and wide through your palms, through your stance. Inhale to a cow pose. Untuck your tailbone to the sky, pull your sternum forward and up. Draw your navel in. 
Stay here as you breathe out. Kind of create a deeper stretch across your belly. One more inhale. And on your exhale, as you find your cat pose, beginning at your tailbone, slowly start to tuck your tailbone. Round your low back, mid back, and upper back towards the sky. Push down and away through your hands. You can let your head hang heavy, maybe a slight tuck of your chin as you pause here for an extra inhale. Be kicking your shin bones down into the earth as you hold for exhale. Next breath in will bring us into our cow pose once more. Heart and tailbone scoop up. And then keep that upward energy through your tailbone as you tuck your toes and find downward facing dog with your exhale. Okay. Finding two to three cycles of breath here, either in movement or stillness. Just noticing how your down dog feels this morning. Noticing any new sensations to the shape. And returning back to your mindful breathing. So slow inhale in. That's slower exhale out. We're going to walk it forward into our forward fold top of our yoga mats. As you soften your knees, again, try to release the weight of your head completely. Take one breath here, exploring the shift of your weight from the fronts of your feet to the backs of your feet. And as your next inhale begins to travel through your body, begin to lengthen out through your spine, find your halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And your exhale, forward fold, dive down. With softness in your knees, heavy through your head and tailbone, slowly begin to roll up your spine all the way to standing. Let the back of your body lead the way. Your head will be last to lift. As you slowly start to stack up top, sternum gets proud, crown of the head extends to the ceiling, take a shoulder shrug up, back, and open, and circle sweep your hands to the ceiling, big breath in. And exhale, soften your knees, goddess to your arms. Again, think about using your shoulder blades to boost your heart up to the sky. And on your breath in, re-extend your fingers to the ceiling, lengthen through your legs, Urdhva Hastasana. With your out breath forward, fold Uttanasana, softening at your knees as you hinge forward. You take a big breath in as you lift and lengthen halfway. And exit, step your left foot to the back of your yoga mat, finding your low lunge. And then left knee will come to a hover for your cow lunge. Take a big breath in. Heart reaches forward as your left knee sinks to hover. With your exhale, find your cat lunge, your hamstring stretch, lengthen both of your legs any amount. And then one more time, cow lunge, inhale, bend your left knee to a hover. And on your exhale, press your right foot, step forward to your forward fold. Left foot joins your right. Breathe in to lift up halfway through your torso. And your exit is to your right foot back going directly into second side. Right knee hovers to your cow lunge. Draw your chest forward with your inhale. And then lengthen both of your legs, cat lunge. Exhale to extend. Breath into your cow lunge. Right knee hovers. Heart reaches. Breath out, steps you forward into your forward fold, Uttanasana. Then a halfway lift as you breathe in. And then chair pulls with your breath out, sink through your seat, pull your navel to your spine, and reach your hands towards the sky. Now pausing here for a moment, feel your glute strength actively driving your heels down into the earth. Then imagine you have a yoga block between your thigh bones that you're hugging into. So that's like, imagine the yoga blocks in your upper thighs, and then imagine there's a resistance band around your thigh bones just above your knees. 
So there's integration to the midline and an outward expansive energy as well. Take one more inhale. Then your exhale forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift as your breath in. So your left foot to the back of your yoga mat as you breathe out. Similar to before, we're gonna inhale, left knee hovers, cow lunge. And exhale, lengthen your legs to your cat lunge. At this time, inhale to your cow lunge, left knee comes to a hover. You have two options here. You can go back to your cat lunge, or you can go towards a hovering half split. With a hovering half split, your left knee is gonna stay hovering. I'm going to start to lengthen your right leg and scoot your booty back in space. You can keep your right foot planted, or you can start to flex your right toes to the sky. Maybe walking your hands back or using yoga blocks for support. Think about cow spine here. So hard and tailbone scooping up to the ceiling. Drag your right heel back in space. Take one more cycle of breath. As we rebend into our front knee, we're going to move into a warrior two. So let your left heel rotate down to the earth, and then slowly root down to your feet and rise all the way up. Vira Vidrasana too. So you settle into your shape. Give yourself the space just for a single breath here. Just one breath to experience and to explore sensation. And on your inhale, start to reverse your warrior. Slowly sweep your right hand up and back. Find your side body stretch. On exhale, or head to our side angle, right forearm. Maybe comes to your thigh. Reach your left hand up to the sky. On your breath in, rotate your sternum towards the ceiling. Let your left shoulder lean back in space. On your exhale, you're going to thread your left hand underneath your right ribs. Think about pressing down to your right forearm to cat your spine. Deep breath in, reach your left hand to the sky. And as you breathe out, keep your um, side angle stance to your body. You're just going to reach your left hand to the back of your yoga mat. Turn your gaze down towards your right toes. Left shoulder pulls out of your ear for a neck stretch. Take one breath here. to rise up and out of this we're going to slowly start to reverse our triangle extend through your right leg tip your right fingertips up and back big breath in on exhale wide legged forward fold turn all 10 toes to the long edge of your yoga mat and dive down let's take a halfway lift as we inhale you gotta squat on exhale bring your heels and start to sink your seat low Stacking up tall through your spine. Draw your front ribs towards the back of your body. So experimenting with your hips here, instead of going like as low as you can, think about finding the height of hips, of your hips that allows you to really engage your core. And when you lengthen your tailbone to the earth, you feel your outer seat light up. So less about like how slow you can go and more about how active you can be to the center of your body. Okay, navel to spine, outer seat is super strong. From here, we're gonna eagle wrap our right arm underneath our left, shoulders out of ears, elbows high, hands away from your face. On your inhale, scoop your elbows towards the sky. On your exhale, crunch your elbows towards your belly, rounding through your mid to upper back, tuck through your chin. Good, twice more, inhale, eagle elbows towards the sky. Exhale, pull in through your core, rounding through your upper back. One more time, big breath in, elbows lift up. And exhale, round through your upper spine. Good, as you inhale your eagle arms to the sky this time, on your exhale, lengthen your legs, unwind through goddess arms. So a little bit of a star pose, the goddess opening. Breathe in to reach your hands to the ceiling. On your breath out, warrior to the back of your yoga mat. So rotate your right heel away. That creates space to turn your left toes to the short edge. Windmilling your hands down to the earth to frame your left foot. 
unhook your right heel. Okay. Right knee is going to come to a hover cow lunge on your inhale. With your exhale, find your cat lunge, extend through your legs. And inhale, cow lunge, right knee hovers, heart opens. And then you can go back to your cat lunge or hovering half splits. Right knee stays hovering, lengthen your left leg. Option to flex your left toes to the sky in either option, in either variation. Remember your hands can move, you can always use yoga blocks and think about untucking your tailbone. So imagine you could spill the front of your pelvis forward, the bowl of your pelvis spilling forward as you tilt your tailbone to the sky. In the lift, if you have the lift of your left toes, you're energetically dragging your left heel to your right toes. Okay, from here, we'll start to bend into our left knee. Virabhadrasana two, rotate your right heel to the earth. Slowly and without momentum, hips stay low, press into your feet, and then find your way up. Virabhadrasana two. Make any little adjustments and then settle in. Maybe even close your eyes for a breath. Staying anchored to the four corners of both of your feet. Stay committed to the depth of your left leg lunge and then inhale to reverse your warrior. Putting distance between your left ribs and your left hip. On exhale, we find our way into side angle pose. Left forearm to thigh, right hand to the sky. Now press it down through your left forearm so there's space between left shoulder and ear. Roll your sternum towards the ceiling as you roll your right shoulder back in space. And think about pressing the back of your right hand to the earth that's behind your heart. Big breath in. On your exhale, pull your navel to your spine. Think about catting your spine as you thread your right hand underneath your left ribs. So you're trying to balloon your upper back to the ceiling. Putting that stretch around your shoulder blades. Well, we're going to reach our right hand up to the ceiling one more time. Deep inhale. On your exhale, right fingertips reach towards what was the front of your yoga mat as you turn your gaze down to your left toes. As you actively reach through your right fingertips, pull your right shoulder out of your ear, receiving that big stretch to the right side of your neck. And when you're ready, Rooting through your feet, begin to reverse your triangle, tilt it up and back, deep inhale. On exhale, we find our way into our wide-legged forward fold, turn your toes, hinge at your hips and take a breath. Extending into a halfway lift, draw your navel to your spine, push the earth away, find your breath. And then goddess squat, heels come in, sink into your seat, and then grow tall through your torso. So again, prioritizing the engagement through our trunk, so through the core, and through your seat over the depth of where your hips are, yeah? A little bit different this time. We're going to take a big breath in, reaching high to the ceiling. On your exhale, take your arms out wide towards like a capital T shape. And find an inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together, open your chest. As you exhale, you're going to rotate your palms up to the sky, bringing the pinky edges of your arms towards each other. A big breath in, thumbs are going towards the wall behind you. And then as you breathe out, you're gonna flip your palms to the back of the room, thumbs down to the ground. Keeping your elbows high, bend at your elbows so much you could touch your fingertips behind you. Maybe you can, but keep pressing your palms to the wall that's behind your heart. Okay, one more little shoulder opener here. We're going to inhale, reach your hands out wide. And on your exhale, this time as you bring your um, pinky edges to reach out in front of you, so palms to the ceiling like you're holding on a tray, you now bend at your elbows. Try to reach your fingertips towards the middle of your shoulder blades reaching your elbows energetically to the sky. Chin off your chest, take one more breath in. I know it's a lot through the legs. As you breathe out, just release your arms. 
We're going to start to lengthen through our legs, reach your hands to the sky, start pose. And then adjusting to warrior two to the front of the yoga mat, spin your left heel back first. Create the space to turn your right toes forward. Yeah. We're going to windmill our hands down to the ground to frame our right foot. As you unhook your back heel, sit forward into a chair pose. Left foot's going to join your right. Settling into your seat, take a big breath in. Exhale, airplane arms. Going to lean into your left foot, come to your right to be toes. Eventually, flamingo your right heel up and in. Take a deep breath in. On your breath out, begin to extend into your airplane. Lengthen. Shoulders out of your ears. Buoyancy at the back of your heart. Press the back of your skull to the ceiling. Energy reaches all the way through your right leg. Take a big breath in. Now listen, on your exhale, you're going to soften through both of your knees. Use your core to bring your right knee with you to standing. One-legged Tadasana. Reach your hands to the sky with your inhale. And chair pose, airplane arms as you exhale. Chance for your weight or energy into your right foot, come to your left to be toes. As you engage your strong right leg, flamingo your left heel to your seat. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, think root to expand into your airplane pose, drive through your right foot to lengthen out through your body. Rotate your thumbs wide to open across your collarbones. And then think upward energy through your limbs. One more big breath in. On your exhale, find that bend through both of your knees. Engage through your core to support your low back as you bring your left knee with you to standing. Take your inhale. Exhale, chair pose, airplane arms. Breathing in, rise all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. On your exhale, soft knees, goddess, your arms, scoop your sternum to the sky. Pausing here, find your inhale, lift a little bit higher through your heart. And exit a swan dive forward, send your arms wide, and slowly hinge at your heart, hips leading with your heart. Good, breathe into a halfway lift as you're ready. And as you breathe out, press your hands into the ground, high plank. First high plank of practice, 30 minutes in. We're going to pause here for a breath. You can make the choice to bring your knees to the ground if you want a little added support. You press your hands and engage your quads. Take a slow inhale. As you exhale, feel that connection of navel to spine. And take a big breath in, shift forward, so you're to be toes. On your breath out, how slowly can you lower to the earth? You're reaching your elbows back and the crown of your head forward at the same time. It's going to help engage your triceps, the backs of your arms. Arriving to your belly, untuck your toes. Inhale to a low or a high cobra, you decide. With your exhale, release all the way back down to the earth. Gecko pose, hands are going to go wide. Tuck your fingertips on the earth. Elbows stuck over your wrists, shoulders out of ears. We're going to inhale to lift up through our chest. On your exhale, dip your left shoulder and twist your gaze to the right. And inhale through your center. And exhale, second side, right shoulder dips in, look to the left. And inhale up through center one more time. And exhale, draw your heart forward as you lower. Hands will frame your rib cage again. Breathe into either your up dog or your cobra, you decide. And then exhale, downward facing dog, hips go to the sky. Take a deep breath in together. And open mouth, exhale, release. And inhale to reach your right leg to the ceiling. 
On your exhale, bend your knee and open your hip. Take one super slow hip circle, one direction, just moving from the strength of your right glute, try to use the entire length of your inhale. And your exhale, slowly reverse that circle, use the entire length of your breath out. Re extend to your three legged dog with your breath in, and place your right foot forward to the top of your yoga mat. Exhale. Left knee hovers for our cow lunge. Take a big breath in. You choose cat lunge or hovering half split as you breathe out. So either hamstring stretch. Pausing here for an extra cycle of breath. Steady inhale. Steady exhale. Warrior two, bend into your right knee. As you lengthen your left leg and rotate your left toe to the earth, rise all the way up. We'll inhale to reverse our warrior, reach your right hand to the sky. And then just follow your exhale to find side angle pose. Good. Pausing here, take a big breath in, reach your left hand overhead to extend your side angle. As your breath out empties through your body, you're going to reach your left hand to the back of your yoga mat. Turn your gaze down to your right toes, finding your neck stretch. Breathing in, reverse your triangle, tilt all the way up and back. Your exhale, wide-legged forward fold, pivot your toes and dive down. Take a halfway lift on your breath in. Little add-on here, we're gonna, instead of going to a goddess lunge or a goddess squat, we're gonna find a side lunge. So left knee is going to bend, side lunge. Option to sink into skandasana if you want to flex your right toes to the sky. And wherever you are, take a big breath in. And on exhale, we'll rotate to the back of our yoga mat, breath out. Right knee covers cow lunge as you inhale. And your exhale, step it all the way back to your downward facing dog, left foot meets your right. Breathe in to rise to your tippy toes. On your exhale, roll forward to your high plank. Pause for your breath in. We're gonna turn all 10 toes to the right side plank. Reach your right hand to the sky. Take your inhale. On your exhale, thread your right hand underneath your left ribs. Reach, reach, reach. Full breath in, reaches your right hand back to the sky, Vashi Stasana side plank. Exhale through your high plank. Moving to second side, rotate your toes to the left, reach your left hand high as you breathe in. Thread your left hand underneath your right ribs, breath out. Inhale, reach your left hand to the sky. And exhale, high plank. Next breath in, shift forward to your tippy toes. You choose down dog or chaturanga on out breath, maybe lower halfway down. At the bottom, untuck your toes, then inhale to your upward facing dog. We'll exhale to me in downward facing dog. And take a big breath in. And open mouth, exhale, release. Just finishing up second side, we're gonna inhale left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. On your breath out, bend your knee and open your hip. Encourage your navel to your spine. Take an inhale to draw one circle one way with your left knee. Bend the strength of your left glute. On your exhale, reverse that circle, go the opposite direction. Three-legged dog, big breath in. Place your left foot forward as you breathe out. Right knee hovers with your inhale, cow lunge. Exhale, either cat lunge or hovering half splits you decide. Pause for an extra breath in your hamstring stretch. As you're ready, start to find your way into warrior two as you rotate through the back heel, rise all the way up. Settle into your warrior two, then breathe in to reverse your warrior left hand stretching tall. 
We'll exhale to side angle, stomach forward. Your breath and extend your side angle, reach your right hand up and overhead. And as you breathe out, right fingertips reach back, turn your gaze down to your left toes, find your neck stretch. We'll reverse our triangle, big breath in. Wide legged forward, fold on your exhale, toes forward, dive down. Lengthen halfway on your in breath. Bend your right knee for your side lunge or your skandasana with your out breath. And pausing for a slow, steady inhalation. And a slower exhalation. We're gonna to rotate to the top of our yoga mat, low lunge. On your inhale, sink your left knee to a hover cow lunge. As you exhale, step forward to a forward fold this time. Bend a halfway lift, deep breath in through your body. And as you breathe out, soft knees forward fold. Keep your knees soft. Let your tailbone lengthen to the earth as you slowly roll up your spine, just stacking up one vertebrae at a time until you find yourself in standing. Head is lost to lift. Chest will get proud eventually. Find your shoulders shrug to open through your front line. And big breath in, circle, sweep your hands to the sky. And your exhale, soften your knees. So bend your knees quite a bit. You gotta see your elbows. Feel your rib cage and your heart puff up. Pause for your breath in and your goddess arms. Knees are bent. Exhale, swan by four. Keep your knees generously bent as you send your wings wide and lead with your heart to dive down. A big halfway lift on your breath in. This time, chair pose, we sink through our seat, lift up through your heart and hands. The depth of your chair is up to you, so it doesn't have to be your deepest chair pose. This is just a transition so that our legs are engaged as we find our one-legged balance. When you're ready, airplane your arms beside you. Lean into your left foot from to your right to be toes. Eventually, you're going to flamingo your right heel up and in, just like we did before. Take an inhale. And then exhale, lengthen to your airplane. Option to reach your hands overhead for warrior three for one cycle of breath. And then bending through both of your knees a little bit, re-engage your core super strong to support your low back. You're gonna bring your right knee with you to stand. Take a deep breath in. You choose tree pose or figure four, so right foot to the inside of your left leg. Or right ankle on your left thigh to be hands to heart center. And wherever you are, whether you're in your tree or your figure four, if you want an optional add on, put eagle wrap your right arm underneath your left for a balance challenge. Staying proud and lifted through your chest, though, if you have your eagle arms. Take a big breath in. Slow exhale. If you have the eagle arms and you want the extra balance challenge, keep them as you rise up with your right knee back to your one-legged mountain pose. Then go ahead and step your right foot to the earth, Tadasana. Unwind your arms, just let your hands release beside you. Deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale out. Sinking back into our final chair pose, Utkatasana. Enable the spine, reach through your arms, take a breath in. We'll airplane our arms with exhale out. Send your energy to your right foot as you get light through your left leg. Go flamingo your left heel to your seat. Bend your inhale. Follow your exhale to airplane pose. Option to reach your hands overhead, warrior three with your breath in, Vira Vajrasana three. So strong through your core, bend both of your knees. You exhale. You're gonna rise up with your left knee slowly, one-legged mountain pose. 
you choose tree pose or figure four. Option for hands at your heart. Option for eagle arms. So again, if you're taking the eagle arms, this time it's gonna be left arm underneath right, but you're staying proud through your chest. Super, super active to your core. Make sure your navel's pulling to your spine so your low back is not getting strength. One breath here. You have the eagle arms, you have the option to keep them. Roots to your right foot, so to bring your left knee up into your one-legged Tadasana, big breath in. And your exhale, Tadasana, unwinding through your arms, left foot lands to the earth. Hands are beside you, palms facing forward. Close your eyes and just feel the beat of your heart and the flow of your breath. If you return your focus to the energy at your palms. Noticing how your body feels, just scanning from the crown of your head to your fingers, to your toes. Take a deep inhale. And open mouth, exhale. Once more, circle, sweep your hands to the sky, big breath in. And then exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana with your breath out. And a halfway lift, shoulders out of ears. And then bend your knees and have a seat all the way down. Okay, we're gonna do just briefly one seated stretch and then we're gonna lay down and we're basically in Shavasana from there. So send your left leg out long and bring your right foot to your inner left thigh. Flex your left toes to the ceiling, reach your hands up as you inhale. And your exhale, we'll start with a side body stretch. Your left hand can go on the outside or the inside of your left leg. Rotate your heart open to the sky. You can bend at your left elbow to find the depth that works best for you. You can keep your right hand reaching up and overhead towards your left toes, or like we did in our side angle, you can reach your right hand away from your body and turn your gaze down towards your left knee. So that would create that next stretch. Right shoulder is rolling back in space, right shoulder pulls out of your ear. Take one more inhale and exhale. From wherever you are, slowly use your left hand to push the earth away. Stack up tall with your torso, crown, last to lift. And just switch out your legs and your right leg long. Bring your left foot to your inner right thigh. As you tilt the front of your pelvis slightly forward, reach your hands tall with your inhale. And then side bend to your right as you exhale. So then you can stay with just this traditional side body stretch, reaching your left hand up and over towards your right toes, big breath in. Or like we did in our side angle, on your exhale, you're gonna reach your left hand away from your body and turn your gaze towards your right side. So this could be maybe towards your right elbow, your right knee, this just depends on where your body is in space, but draw your shoulder out of your ear. Spread your collarbones wide. Pressing through your right hand, you're gonna eventually rise back up. Crown lasts to lift. Bring the soles of your feet together for your Baddha Konasana butterfly. Your hands might catch your ankles. On your inhale, pull your chest forward, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then on your breath out, dive down any amount. If you want to walk your hands out in front of you, feel free to do so. Maybe let your head hang heavy and take two cycles of breath. Feel free to stay a little bit longer. Otherwise, you're ready to press the earth away and sit up tall. Use your hands to draw your knees back together. 
Um, we're going to lay down now. So let's just hug our knees to our hearts and rest backwards when you're ready. If you wanted to use your core, feel free to use your core instead. We're going to meet in a happy baby pose. Just any variation of happy baby. Option to play with movement here, or maybe explore lengthening your legs or one leg at a time. Kind of find like a butterfly happy baby hybrid. That's one of my favorites. And setting up for an eagle leg twist, releasing your legs. We're gonna eagle stack our right thigh on top of our left. You don't have to cross at your ankles unless you want to. As your left foot lands to the earth, let your knees tip over to the left and just let your arms spread open wide. Take two deep breaths. For your third breath, maybe an inhale through your nose. Maybe open mouth, exhale, let it go. Slowly start to gather your knees through center. As you unwind your legs, you might adjust your hips to square, maybe take your feet a little bit wider, and then take a couple windshield wipers back and forth. You're ready for your eagle leg twist, second side. You'll bring your feet to hips distance like it's like it. You're going to your bridge pose, but instead of lifting your hips, stack your left thigh on top of your right. You can scoot your hips a little bit over to the left if you want to, but eventually your eagle legs are gonna tip over to the right. Maybe allow your gaze to fall to the left. Start with two cycles of breath. Option for an open mouth exhale on your third breath, inhaling through your nose, fill your lungs. Cleansing, exhale, release that breath away. We'll start to bring our knees back through center one more time. This time, unwind your knees to your chest. As you draw your thighs to your heart, curl your nose up to your knees. Take a nice big breath in. Then on your exhale, begin to release towards your Shavasana. Your final relaxation. Giving yourself permission to land into any shape that you want to that feels easeful in your body. And as you start to settle in, making adjustments and shutting down your eyes. We notice, just check in if you have any assumptions about Shavasana. If you have an assumption about your ability or inability to rest in stillness, to embrace quiet, and to be in risk. <clears throat> in receptivity to the present moment. So instead of doing or thinking or needing to be productive in this time, maybe today you allow yourself, you give yourself permission, you offer yourself the gift of just receiving, being, being, 
no need to be doing. Starting to break maybe that habit pattern in the body and mind. Each cycle of breath as you settle into the being instead of the doing. Each cycle of breath is that reminder to let go. Soften, surrender, and release. To acknowledge that maybe some of the tension that we experience in body and mind is simply just a habit that we've built over time. Maybe it's unnecessary. Maybe you don't need to hold it for these last few minutes of your practice. Your mind has started to drift. It's bringing all of your focus back to the gentle rise and fall of your breath. And as you reconnect to your breath, you feel your body resting into the embrace of the earth, the support of the sturdy ground beneath you. You might decide to stay just as you are, taking an extra minute or two just to rest and receive. Maybe start to bring some movement into your body. Maybe take a full body stretch, reaching your hands up and overhead as you breathe in. And then your exhale, perhaps your hands arrive at your heart. It's pausing in gratitude for the yoga practice, the tools and the pathway that it provides to helping us set aside assumptions and break habit patterns, thought and behavior, and opening us up to new experiences, new perspectives, new ways of being. And in gratitude of our bodies and our breath, this time that we've shared. We'll take a deep inhale all together. One more open mouth, exhale to release. The yoga offer us a path to compassion and may our practices serve as our teachers, always leading us to live with greater authenticity and to love deeply each and every day. Thank you so much for being here this morning, and namaste.